Hello everyone, Justin G here back again with you. We are back with Misamo Identity Studio Tomb Original. Now, I'm assuming that this is going to be the closest we get to a performance video. And I don't know if I've ever seen a Japanese song get a Studio Tomb video. So I'm here for it. Happy to put it on YouTube. Uh, I've got a lot of content over on Patreon. Over 325, I think now. Twice reactions. I do have other group content as well. And actually doing more uh, different group content planned this week. So if you'd like to join just $1 a month, I'll have a link for that in the description. And I do take requests over there. But... I want to see what the girls have for us here. Got a little bit of a sense of the choreography in the music video. Not a whole lot. We're going to uh, kind of dive a little bit deeper here. I may be doing some pausing and rewinding. I hope that's all right. But I want to know what you guys thought about this in the comments below. And in the meantime, link to the original video will be in the description below. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe as you see fit. Let's get this started. Still need to know what to do to be one of these days. And they had to do the red outfits too. Like what? Okay, so I like how they started out with uh, the girls all up up on top uh, in between the in between the guys and then they came down and I like the I like the layering here it looks like we got at least four layers here four um, depth layers if you will I remember that the girls uh, have said during their dance practices that they they number them so it's intriguing to see this many layers within the choreography <laughs> Bring some of the dances with her. Oh, that's cool. That's me. That's pretty cool. Okay. I love. I've, I've told you guys. I love when they do the domino, the the wave sort of thing, and they they split off into it as she walks into the formation. That's really cool to see. And I like how they're separating the dances as well. I'm sorry if I'm pausing and rewinding too much. I love watching choreography for those that are new here. Love watching choreography. It's so fascinating to me. I love seeing the different the different uh, styles and, and the different uh, little, just the little nuances that choreographers put in. So this is really, really cool to see. First off, the, the way they did the scissor kick being lifted up by the guy dancers and then again the way she comes into the formation really satisfying to watch oh that's cool I love when they do the shoulder move. I love that part. The red outfits are ridiculous, guys. I'm just saying. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dancing motion. Love it! Go for more, I love her voice in that part. What do I have to do to be one of the guys she leans on? And then they lean on him at the end. Interesting. 
Okay, so let's see if they got anything else for us here. Okay, yeah, I figured it was just going to be the uh, the credits at the end. Yeah, this was really, really cool. Oh, my gosh. Why? Unnecessary. Unnecessary. Oh, my gosh. Why? I'm glad I stayed, y'all. I'm glad I stayed. Oh, dear. Oh, we didn't hear, we didn't get to hear it. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, that's where I'm staying right there. Alright, yeah, yeah, this was, this was really fun. I noticed, I, I, I subconsciously thought to myself, I wasn't talking as much about the choreography later on because I've, I've literally watched like 20 to 30 of the, uh, the shorts that they've done, the, like the YouTube shorts, Instagram shorts, you know, things like that, the, the reels and such, where they do the chorus choreography, like, over and over and over again, different outfits, different scenes, different combinations. So I've seen a lot of that, but the versus choreography was something that I hadn't uh, seen before. And I was also trying to pay attention to the subtitles because I reacted to the music video so fast that there were not subtitles available for it yet. So I didn't get really much of a sense of the lyrics. There was a lot more English in this song than I realized from when I watched the music video. So that's intriguing to me. Um, but yeah, these girls are absolute professionals. Really liked how they incorporated the physical choreography. I know people online are upset anytime any person, really even sometimes girls, make contact with their idols during choreography. But I, I, I like seeing that sort of thing. It just because it, it relies so much on the balance and timing um, that uh, in, in certain aspects that it's really impressive to see at some points um, because they they have to be they have to be set in the right place like when Mina was leaning on them she had to you have to keep the timing as well I know you guys know that it's just something that people may not think about as much for how far someone has to go and then you know kind of give a little pushback so that they can stay within the timing and such. Um, but yeah, very satisfying choreography to watch. Again, these girls are professionals. I'm planning to watch the, uh, I'm going to put together the best that I can, a playlist over on Patreon for however many of the performances from their recent showcase that I can in order to piece together a concert the best that I can. I don't think that anything was streamed online, so I don't think we have a static uh, you know, a full performance video of the Misa Mo Showcase, but I'm planning to put something together over on Patreon. Again, I'll have a link for that in the description if you'd like to join. But again, I want to know what you guys thought about this in the comments below, and I'm going to go ahead and get out of here on this one. Jesus loves you. I love you. We'll see you in the next video. I hope you have a great day.